Welcome back to Ingredient Prep, where I show you how you can prep one main ingredient to serve a few different ways throughout the week so that you can meal prep without eating the same meal every single day. So we'll be doing taco seasoned lentils as the main protein, and I'm going to add in a few different meal components so that you can really mix and match during the week. So let's get cooking. So we have a couple options here. These are loaded sweet potatoes, but you could also just make some sweet potato bowls with roasted sweet potatoes. So if you wanna go that route, just cube the sweet potatoes into half inch pieces, toss with oil and seasonings of your choice. I usually do some salt, some chili powder, cumin, roast at 425 for 30 to 35 minutes. Otherwise, we are going to bake them until super light and fluffy inside, 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. Of course, cilantro is optional, but I like to keep it on hand. I just chop off the ends. I make sure to rinse it really well and then dry it a little and then pop it in some water, just like two inches of water and then throw it in the fridge. It lasts really well this way for like a week. So avocado is the obvious choice for topping these sweet potatoes, but I figured let's just take it another step further and make this really delicious dressing. It's inspired by this avocado green goddess dressing I have on my blog, but instead of using parsley, we're using cilantro. I did use the ends of that chopped cilantro just as a nice way to not waste cilantro. It's just as flavorful. And we're using lime juice instead of lemon juice. And you're gonna need to adjust the water basically based on the size of the avocado. So don't be afraid to keep adding water if it's not getting smoother. You could also just add more lime juice if you want it to be tangier. And then I'm adding chili powder and smoked paprika to really drive those kind of like Tex-Mex taco style flavors home. And pickled onions. I just love having these on hand. They are an instant source of flavor, a little bit of crunch and you can kind of get creative with it. So I go for about a half tangy, half not tangy mixture. Basically what that means is I'm doing equal parts of water and vinegar. I'm going with red wine vinegar and apple cider vinegar here. I'm also adding salt and you can add some plain like granulated sugar or you could just do honey. I'm doing honey just to mix it up a little more easily. And I just shake it together. You could heat it on the stove and melt it, but I think that vigorous shaking really gets the job done. I actually have an entire video on how I make my quick pickled onions. You just want to throw them in the fridge for at least 30 minutes, ideally longer, like four hours. Um, and, and they'll last for about a week, maybe longer. And of course, the star of the show is going to be these taco seasoned lentils. You can make this as easy as you like. So I'm doing dry lentils. I made sure to rinse them really well. And I'm going to cook them in about three cups of water. I do recommend pouring off excess water after just so that you don't end up with soupy lentils. I'm also adding salt. You could do these with vegetable broth to add more flavor. And then I'm going to add a mixture of seasonings. But if you want to keep this super simple, you could just do two cans of lentils. Just drain off the liquid and heat them with the other ingredients. So after cooking those lentils, you do want to make sure to simmer everything together for about five to ten minutes. That'll just enhance the flavor of the spices and make everything more flavorful. Not a fan of lentils, you could use pinto beans, you could use black beans, you could even add in pinto beans or black beans. This makes about four servings in my opinion, so you could always double this recipe. Since it's so easy to make, you could just freeze half of it to thaw when you need some quick protein on hand, but this will be your main protein here. It's just an easy like taco-y flavor. So would I really be a dietitian if I didn't include some veggies as an ingredient prep component? Cook them on medium high heat until they are golden. Once they start turning golden, then you'll add the salt. Wait to add the salt until now because we don't want to make them all soggy. We want those beautiful golden brown bits. And during the last two minutes, add some chili powder and cumin because we're going to give these a fajita veggie treatment. Then just saute for another couple minutes until they're starting to blacken. These keep well for a few days. I recommend reheating them in the skillet to add some crisp back to them. But you could, of course, use the microwave too. The final ingredient for the ingredient prep is totally optional. So if you eat cheese, you can just admit this and just use whatever cheese you like for these recipes. But I've been trying to eat a little less dairy lately and I love cashew queso, basically just cashew sauce. I'm doing unsalted cashews and cashew pieces are just as good as whole cashews. They're gonna break down honestly a little more easily than them. 
I do soak them in some hot water for about 10 minutes because I don't have the most high power blender. I'm blending it with a chipotle chili pepper. You saw me add that to the water because it was actually frozen. I keep leftover chipotle chilies in the freezer because I don't typically use a whole can at once. And then if you want to thicken it up, if you're like me and you added too much liquid, add in a little bit of cornstarch and then heat it on the stove and it will get this really awesome queso-esque texture. And then I use this to make some quesadillas with those lentils. This is so simple, but so good.